Hi friend, my name is Gideon and I want to welcome you to today's devotion in which we talk about guilt. Guilt is that feeling that comes to us on realization that we did something wrong and have not confessed it. Guilt is that rottenness inside us that says we should not have done it and slowly eats away our peace and our freedom. Now, all of us have experienced guilt for some various reasons, lying, cheating, stealing, testifying falsely, or denying a neighbor help we could easily afford. The magnitude of guilt is more often than not linked to the effects of what we did or what we didn't do. Somebody died and we are responsible, or someone was jailed because we testified falsely, or the right candidate missed a job because we bribed our way through, or we cheated on our spouse, we feel guilt. Now, all these and many others cause guilt in our lives. Such guilt can advance to the extent of rotting our inside, negatively affecting our mental health and causing pain to our lives and the lives of others. Guilt comes after realizing that we have hurt or caused pain to others and have not conversed. Sometimes we console ourselves by saying that nobody knows what we did, or the effects weren't awful anyway, or that we have already depended before God. So we try to push our guilt under some self-justification and try to wish it away as best as we can. However, in the midst of all this, uh, this kind of wishful thinking, we cannot clear the feeling that if someone really knew what we had done, they would never forgive us. And so guilt sets and sits on us the more. There may be nobody pointing fingers at us, and yet guilt robs us of our peace and freedom and fellowship with others. We may even try to make up for our sins, try to do something good, only to realize that our guilt won't free us until we confess. So, what do we do? How do we get rid of how do we get rid of guilt? In the Bible, we get the only cure for guilt. The Bible says, confess your sins one to another so you may be healed. We read that from James chapter 5, verse 16. We may have confessed our sins before God, but God requires that we confess to the particular persons we had, your spouse, your neighbor, your business partner, your workmate, your boss, those people we had. This confession should then be followed by asking for forgiveness from the people we had. Of course, confession will not always end in, in favor for us or for our good. Confession may lead to being charged for our sins, public shame or isolation from friends, among others. But all said and done, being honest is better than hiding sins. It's better to come clean than to slowly rot from inside with guilt. It is after we confess and ask for forgiveness that God begins to heal and repair us and the people we hurt. Don't let guilt wreck a walk on your body, mind or soul. God is telling us to confess to one another to be healed. You don't have to live with guilt no matter how big your sin may have been. You can be free from guilt and shame and walk blameless before God and the people you wronged. This healing, this freedom, this joy comes when we sincerely confess and ask forgiveness from our neighbors and from God. And may the good Lord help us to really confess and repent, then we will be free from guilt. Amen.